Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Rating the Races. So I've had a look at tomorrow's racing. Um, there's not a huge amount that is interesting, but I have found three selections that I like. Um, and all the bookmakers have got prices for them now, so we can talk about them. So let's start off with the first race at Newbury, uh, where you can see that my next best is going to be Inniston. Um, Inniston finished second last time out at um, Sandown in that Premier Handicap. The National Hunt Novices Handicap Hurdle Final. Um, being beaten only by Crambo. Well clear of the rest. Now, generally what happens in that race is you get horses that are ahead of their mark. And, and horses that do go on to be bigger and better things. Um, and I thought Inniston's run an absolute cracker to finish second. Um, looked like he was going to win it for a long way. But he's just got run down by Crambo. Now... Is that good form? Well, Crambo's won it off 123. But what we could say is, if you take out his shallow disappointment, Crambo's, he's unbeaten. So he'd be five mm -hmm. from six, or he is five from six. His only defeat, Crambo's only defeat, came in the grade one shallow hurdle when he only went off seven to one. So it's possible that Innocent's just been beaten by a graded horse. Um, and with that in mind, I mean, a 124 handicap mark shouldn't be something that um, should be beating Inniston, to be honest. Granted, there could be a subsequent graded horse in this race. Um, probably, if it's going to be anything, it might be At Atlanta Brave, in the fact that he's still progressive. Um, I quite like Toothless as well. I think he's a, a good horse. But you can see his R figures aren't good enough Um well, none of them are good enough. Or one of them, sorry. One of them beats one of Innistons, whereas th three other Inniston runs are better than what Toothless has achieved. So what I'm saying here is I think Inniston has done quite well already, and that was a really good effort. The step up and trip definitely worked at Sandown the time before when beating Twin Power. The horse backing fourth that day was Amron Sage. Amron Sage has since come out and won. Amron Sage had chased home Pembroke. I mean, it was all really good form um, going into that race. And, and there's plenty of positive form lines around um, Inniston. And I do want to believe that 146.6R figure. Sometimes you can try and look into it and suggest that, it, you know, it was, um, it's been wrongly um, enhanced for some reason. But I think... This was a uh, very, very good um, race at Sandown that he was in. And you can understand why he got beat by Crambo. Yes, it was only two weeks ago. Yes, it was on heavy going. There the concerns is if he's got over his race. If he has, I think he takes all the beating here. He is currently 3 to 1, 100 to 30. So you can see there is a bit of money for that Atlanta Brave, who is probably the danger. Um, but I think... Inniston has already shown more than um, Atlanta Brave and uh, is certainly is the right one to be a reproduction of that Sandown run and Inniston should win this. Moving on to the 225 at Kelso. Um, I like Jetlex. Now again, there's a, a high R figure here that you have to question. So what you do is you go back through the races. It Was it a good race or has he beaten nothing? And can you understand why there was some improvement? Absolutely, I can understand. So let's have a look at his last three runs over hurdles. All have been over three mile, which is the trip he's going to run off, run over today, at, or tomorrow, sorry. So first time out, he ran over two mile. He was beaten by a horse called The Imposter. The Imposter had obviously uh, won three of his previous four before that, uh, as well as a second, and has actually won again. He did dead heated yesterday. So the imposter was clearly both ahead of his mark and rapidly progressing as well. Um, so to, to finish second to the imposter wasn't actually a bad run from jet legs at all. Only beaten a length and a quarter. Next time out, he finished second to uh, Apple Away. Again, you have a look at it. Apple Away is that good form. Apple Away has since come out, gone to uh, Doncaster and won a mayor's novice hurdle at Doncaster. Um, a listed Mayor's Novice Hurdle at Doncaster. A good race. So he's argu arguably been beaten by two good horses there. You know, they've both gone on to win again. 
Um, so he's just bumped into into rivals there. Last time out, he um, ran in a albeit a class five. Um, he went off the five to two favourite and did get up relatively late on. But I think there was plenty more in the tank there for jet legs. Now he's not going to carry um, all the physical weight tomorrow because he's he's going up significantly in class. He's into a class two from a class five, but he carries no weight. He's carrying ten stone eight um, instead of eleven stone eleven. Uh, the jockey takes another five off, so. He's quite well handicapped in it, or he's quite nicely weighted in terms of the physical weight he's carrying. The five off means he's only actually gone up five pounds, three pounds for winning because um, Theo did take three off last time. Tomorrow's jockey takes off five, so he's only three pounds higher. I mean, if he if Apple away or the Imposter was in this race, they would be the short price favourite. Um, whereas I think we're getting a slightly better price about uh, jet legs than we should do. You can get 100 to 30, so it's 3 to 1 everywhere. You can get 3 to 1 about jet legs, and I think jet legs can run a really big race here, um, now carrying an effective uh, less weight, but obviously in a much harder race. And he will be my third best, did I say? Yep. And the final one, who is going to be my nap, I'm sure if you follow my uh, tweets and videos, you'll know who it is. It's Bonte. Bonte has been given a mark of a hundred and just having a look, hundred and ten. Do you know what? I think that's, I think that's mental to be honest. I really, really like Bonte. I think she can be a listed handicapper, uh, you know, a top class handicapper. And off 110, I'd be hugely disappointed if she can't win that. Cheap pieces are on. Um, you look at her defeats, they weren't bad anyway. She got beat by Queen's Gamble uh, at the beginning of the season um, when making her return. Queen's Gamble obviously uh, went to Cheltenham. Didn't run great, finished 12th, mid-division. Um, but had done well herself. Um, the only other defeat, or uh, the next defeat, came to Jane de Burley when Bonte should have won that. Um, was getting there, just didn't catch Jane de Burley. I know Jane de Burley reopposes, but I fully expect Bonte to beat Jane de Burley. And then last time out, got beat by a horse called Huvari. Again, nothing wrong with that. Huvari um, had won previously at Lingfield, had also chased home um, Teddy Blue, which was good form. When Huvari won at Lingfield, had beaten a horse called beaten a horse called Joe de Dancer. Joe de Dancer obviously came out and won recently, um, quite impressively as well. So I mean, the form stacks up. The horses that have beaten um, Bonte or, or and been beaten by Bonte have gone on. The form has worked out well, um, and I totally expect Bonte to be a better horse than uh, one. What did I say? It was one ten. Um, all she needs to do is just sit and wait, and I fully expect her to go very, very close here. She has been well supported all week. She was thirteen to two at the um, early prices. Uh, then a few horses came out. Uh, is she better off with Jane de Burley? Let's have a quick look. So she will be carrying one pound less than Jane de Burley, and when she got beat by Jane de Burley, they were off levels. So it's a pound for a race where she should have won anyway, and. Um, She's got the cheap pieces on. Yeah, I mean, this... I would be really disappointed if Jane de Burley beats Bonte. And I think the others aren't anywhere near good enough to beat uh, Bonte. So, they are my three tomorrow. Um, Innistern, I think the form's really strong. Uh, should be the one to beat here. You can get 100 to 30. Jetlegs, uh, 3 to 1. I think the form, again, is strong. I know it's a harder race. Um, but her, his previous two defeats were actually good efforts. Um, and fully deserved to win last time out. And Bonte, Bonte should be winning off 110. Um, I'd be really disappointed if she can't win this uh, Mayor's Novice Handicap Series Final.